Hi, Peter Charles here folks for Life Fly Fishing. And today let's uh, look at tying on rabbit wings. Uh, rabbit wings are not that hard to use, but they do cause problems for some people. So I'm going to go through a couple of techniques to help you get a better looking and better performing uh, rabbit wing fly. So first off, let's talk about the actual rabbit itself. I've got uh, a zonker strip here and I've cut it at uh, roughly twice the length of the shank of the hook. Uh, and you'll notice that with rabbit, it leans back. So obviously, that's the front and that's the back. It's just worth pointing out just in case you put it back to front. The other issue with uh, rabbit is you want to buy something like zonker strips and not cross cut strips. Now, cross cut strips are designed to be wrapped around a hook like hackle. So uh, the hair, instead of leaning back, leans sideways. So when you're buying a rabbit, make sure you're buying a zonker strip type rabbit that's designed to be tied in as a wing. Now, I've done a couple of things to prep this uh, rabbit. I've taken a little bit of the fur off the front just with my fingernail, and I've trimmed the back leather into a point. And the, by putting the back leather into a point, what you've done is you've made that tail a little bit more fluid in the way it moves, and it's a little bit more suggestive. So. I'm going to tie on a rabbit strip wing onto this hook. I've already prepped it with a gold wire. But first we're going to put on some uh, sh sparkle chenille, some ice chenille. And uh, I want to show you a little thing about that first. I'm going to tie this on. Then I'll bring my thread forward. Now, my first wrap or so is going to go behind the wire and then I'll go in front of the wire and you'll see why in a few minutes. When you're working with a rabbit make sure you leave yourself plenty of room at the front. Don't crowd the eye. Okay now we have our body in place we're ready to tie in our rabbit. Use a pinch loop. Make sure it's sitting on top properly. And just bind it down. Okay, now the reason why I put a wrap or two of schneel behind. If you make the first wrap of wire to secure the rabbit strip wing right on the shank of the hook, what happens is it forces your uh, rabbit wing down, coming off the bend of the hook. And what that can do is it can make your fly corkscrew through the water. So what I'm going to do is make the first wrap on the chenille itself, that way the wing stays flat. And the trick to getting uh, your rabbit wing on smoothly, one is to use your bodkin, and the other is to use some hackle pliers. What we do is we put some hackle pliers on the wire, and that gives it weight so the, it hangs down. And I'm going to counter wrap, meaning I'm going backwards, opposite to the schneel. And what I do is I come in at, at an angle of about how I'm going to wind it, and I'm going to pull that back. Pull the, the fur back, then make a wrap over, and wiggle it through. And then I just take a moment to see if I've trapped any hair. No, nope, I haven't. And I'll come through and I'm just going to come in here like this, find the spot where the wire is going to go. Again, just use your bodkin, find the spot for the wire, check for any trapped fur. and then the last wrap in front. Okay, there you go. All you have to do is now wrap off the wire and uh, you're ready to finish the fly. Keep in mind, look to see how nice and straight that tail is because the first wrap of wire went on the chenille, not on the hook shank. If it had been on the hook shank, it would have been pulled down like this. There you go, nice durable tie, a rabbit strip uh, 
flies really catch fish, especially smallmouth bass. They love these flies. So you can see it's easy, it's quick. As long as you make a wrap or two of material behind the wire and use your bodkin to poke through, it works. So give it a try. And remember, buy zonker strips, not crosscut. Cheers.